girl, Lil Sonia, and we're here with Let's Talk World. We have some beautiful ladies joining us today. How are you, ladies? Oh, we're just we're fine. Miss Carrie and Miss Esther. Hey, ladies, won't you tell the world a little bit about yourselves? Miss Carrie, let's start with you first. Wow. Hello, world. <laughs> so nice to meet you all, World USA. Well, I'm actually Queen Carrie Brown of Las Vegas Entertainment, capital of the world, the nation's USA ambassador. And I'm so happy to be here today on Let's Talk World with Sonia. And joining me today, and I'm going to allow her to tell herself and who she is, sitting right next to me. My name is Esther Austin, and I am from London. I love your <laughs> accent. It is so classy. Thank you. I love it. Well, ladies, let's tell the world a little bit about ourselves. Can we get a little bio going? Okay. Now, since I'm always the one, let me just shift this here over to my friend. That's and fine. Who she is. Now, she said her name was Esther Austin, but she's actually Esther Austin Global of the Turning Point Magazine. I love her. She does phenomenal work. Uh, she did write my story about bullying, Wonderful. which hit globally, worldwide. And this is this queen that's sitting right next to me today. So Esther, share with the world and our nation, USA Today, a little bit about, or more about you today. Okay, well, thank you for having me on your show. Um, so who am I? My name is Esther Austin, and I'm from London. And I call myself an eclectic, eccentric, creative entrepreneur. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hot. <laughs> was, that was a mouthful. And basically what I do, I would say in a nutshell, maybe a pea nutshell, I, I'm an international talk show host, executive producer of On the Sofa with Esther, where I interview legends and pioneers from within the music industry and other industries but my story is more than that it's about legends and pioneers it's about honoring yes. I'm coming from that place of honoring individuals acknowledging them and giving them a platform that says you are still valuable yes. you are still seen and you are still heard and relevant and so I've got a wonderful magazine called Turning Point your lifestyle your well-being magazine that captures all their stories and Carrie um, has been featured in my magazine several times and I, for me it's really important to feature authentic stories because I'm my platform is about authenticity and integrity um, and what else do I do? I'm a fashion stylist and designer and I also do a lot of, I would say, counselling work within the community because my it's my passion that people heal, yeah. they transform, that they work through so that they can have the best experiences in life possible but also to understand themselves. Yeah give themselves a chance to live and you know people come from different religions because I, I I respect people who have different faiths and different backgrounds and for me it's, as long as you've got you, the tools to support you on your journey into your self-awareness that's what's really important yes oh that's beautiful you know it gives you the chance and and even though I do all the media stuff and I have a great time because I have lots of laughter and fun because also it is about having laughter and fun it's also about how can we walk in our authentic selves so that we can have authentic experiences with ourselves and with others? And that's so essential to life, period. Absolutely. It's because so that's, essential to our growth. Absolutely. Because that's the starting point. And then no matter what you go through, you've got the tools. I always say, I've got my Mary Poppins bag. Yes, and I, I love it. it. I, I love, love it. it. Awesome. Bag. Yeah. I mean, you know, depending on what's going on, I've got the two. So for me, it's prayer, it's meditation, it's mm, dance, so it's essential. walking, yes. it's exercise. You know, have your Mary Poppins bag ready with tools and one or two friends that I can call. They're all in that little bag That's when awesome. I need to. I'm you going know. to leave here using that, okay? Awesome. Yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm going to get my Mary Poppins bag. Maybe you need my Mary Poppins bag. bag. Yes. <laughs> I've got yours in my suitcase. <laughs> It. That's beautiful. Awesome. That's beautiful. Well, Queen, how about you? Now I'm I'm not gonna be all eloquent like Esther. That's Carrie okay. gotta be give careful. Us the real. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all the give real us thing. The real. <laughs> well, Carrie was born in Camden, New Jersey. That's that's the first piece right there. 
a, a little girl that wanted to do everything. So I was a variety of everything. But my everything wanted to touch the lives of other people who didn't maybe have as much or could do a lot of the things I, as a child, then was afforded to do. But I found myself evolving and wanted to reach out in, in ways that everybody said I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So when they did come after me, again, Esther made a good point about your integrity. Mm -hmm. That is so key for me, holding on that part of that life of me as a child that my parents taught me that these are some of those key things that you really need to stay grounded in. So what am I saying? In order to do those wonderful things or people looking at me to do those wonderful things, my mannerism, how I treat people, how I learned to love my brothers and my sisters. Yes. So now again, let's get into the platforms. I have platforms. They asked me forms. how many more, <laughs> yes. and I just implemented a new form this year, <laughs> which is the nation's ambassador honors. Nice. What am I saying? Esther brought it out so well. We don't really have to be stars and legends. We are all stars and legends. Yes. We are, we're, we're just as valuable, just as important. But my platforms bring out in every arena. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you take out the trash. Be good at taking out the trash, baby. I'll go. give you an award, too. When the neighbor said, they so nice about taking in my trash, and they make sure there's no trash all in the street, they do it with integrity. Now, you have some trash men. They just drop the trash everywhere, and they just leave it there. Mm -hmm. But then when you think about garbage or the trash, that's not how I want to live my life. Mm -hmm. So again, I do motivational speaking. I do, you know, get called to go into the schools and help educate and motivate our children. I bring awareness today, trying to sum everything up about a city girl with a country girl heart. Love yeah. it. Now I'm going to have a Mary Poppins bag, you know, that's my tool bag. I love that. I love so you it. said early in the conversation that this drive started out as a child. Absolutely. What life moment brought about this? When somebody told me they was hungry. Okay. And I didn't How have the resource. You? Oh, gosh, I probably was about maybe four years old, just okay. knitting, tooling around the neighborhood, and somebody said they were hungry. Yeah. And, of course, I couldn't cook to feed the person, so I was good at going in the refrigerator and taking my mom and dad's food out. And it got really bad until I got later on in my teens. And anybody in our neighborhood that said that they were hungry or they needed something, even if it meant taking off my own jacket or just something, I said, wait a minute, I'll come back. I'll give them a pair of socks because their feet might be cold. I was very young, and I thought my mom and dad literally was going to kill me. Until after a while, they said, no, it's something about her yeah. uh -huh. that drives her with that passion, like you discussed. I had a passion to make sure, right, and to sum it up, that everybody was okay. Yes. I just wanted everybody to be okay. Esther knows we got these stories, or I, and God bless her heart, and I got to make a mention, she's one of our... She worked in the platforms with me, helping me to dig these ditches. Her name is Karen Brown. She's one of my executive officers. But I'm going to say this. When I had another ditch to dig, I had nothing to dig with. I had no tools. I just had my hands. And I had my God. Yes. And I had my vision. And I had my dream. I had my aspirations. It wasn't for me. It was for the people. For everybody else. It's for everybody else. And all that from that little girl, watch this, it evolved into this big thing that it like exploded. <laughs> and how does that make you feel now? It makes me feel really, really good. Yeah. Because there was a time I felt a sense of embarrassment. Mm -hmm. I did. I can felt we talk a, about that? We sure can. I felt a sense of shame because I didn't have everything that everybody else that I thought had. Mm hmm until I started hearing some of their war stories. Yeah. And they became candid with me. Yeah. I love real candid people. Be open and honest. Don't have people think we just arrived. Yes, we have to tap into our source. Yeah. Yes, we need those special tools. But here we go. We have Sonia. We have Esther. Now we have me today.
And we don't mind giving out. Not at all. And pouring out. So like those certain ones who talk to me, how can I get to be where you're at today? Mm -hmm. Then let me help you. But you have to listen. Yes. No, it's not easy. No. Your walk and your journey may not be my journey, but let me help you give some of those constructive Absolutely. tools. that. Because I'm telling you, she shared that with me last night yesterday because she got here from London, England last night. And she is well, our huh? host <laughs> for the Anti-Bullying Award Show. But we'll talk about that in the second segment. But... I want people to be all right, whether you're young, old, senior, you know, decrepit, handicapped, you know, everybody may look fine on the outside, but yes, everybody right. has something mm -hmm. that they can look within themselves and say, I need help with this. So I just want everybody to be okay. Absolutely. Love it. I love it. And it seems like you got your right hand right here, Miss Esther. <sighs> Miss Esther, how you like in Vegas so far? I love Vegas. I like the contrast between the lights and the everything. And then you've got the desert because it's nice and peaceful out there. So I like the contrast. I like the fun. I like the stillness. I like everything. Nice. Nice. Okay, world. We're going to go for a short break. We'll be right back and we'll follow up with the anti-bullying rally. And we'll get more on Miss Esther's Queen Esther's <laughs> magazine. We'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Okay? Come on back. The year is 2980, and we now know that death is not the end. A soul can be extracted from the recently deceased and be used to create a blue liquid called essence. It can bring a person back to life. We'll get her back. I hope so. It's an expensive process used by the rich and powerful. The rest, they do what they can to survive. Stay right there. You told me you're hiding from some dangerous people. <laughs> Let's knock on the door. I spent the last year searching for the Deep Star, a bounty so big that the entire galaxy could be yours. People have been looking for the Deep Star for years. It can't be found. It's because they can't find the distress beacon. I know where it is. If we find the Deep Star, we can get enough credits to bring Mom back. Blast off. Guys, we have company. You can run, but you cannot hide. Prepare for impact. I am now authorized to take action. And now you die. No! Hi, I'm Deacon T with Modern Word Ministries. It's great to be with you today. Just a short little promo for our show. Every Sunday morning we have service and you can follow us at 10 a.m. Pacific time on modernwordministries.org. And if you missed us or you wanna see some of our older messages, go ahead and check us out on socialmediashows.com every single morning at 9 a.m. It's a great way to kick off your day, get a little bit of the word in you, get something uplifting, get you started off on your way. You know, if you're looking for prayer or you need some help, reach out to us. If you go to our website, again, that's modernwordministries.org, you can interact with me via telephone, via DM, text message, whatever you want. I'll get right back to you. So if you need prayer, you need help, you just need somebody to talk to. Modern Word Ministries is here for you. We are your church in the community. So until you see you next time, be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye. Traditional TV is going away. Hollywood is starting to fade. People are demanding real stories from real people. Our voices are now being heard in our own way. Podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok Live are becoming the norm. Internet TV has now reached the highest demand in human history. Social Media Shows is now the new media of the century. And 
welcome back, world. We're sitting here with Queen Carrie and Miss Queen Esther. <laughs> and we're back in live and in color. We're going to get into Miss Queen Esther's magazine. She has a copy of her magazine with her. Tell us about your magazine, Queen. Okay, so this is Turning Point, and it's now called Music and Lifestyle. I've really defined it. And it has the stories, like I said, of legends and pioneers, but also we're all legends and pioneers, heroes and sheroes. And it just gives an insight, a deeper insight, a richer insight into who people really are, captures their heartfelt stories. And so this is my baby, and it comes out twice a year. Um, it's digital and it's print on demand. And so, yeah, that's... And how will how can people be featured in your baby? Oh well, people can be featured in my baby. You can email me at esther at esther austinglobal dot b i z, and um, we'll have a conversation. And to say that Queen Carrie is actually featured in the summer issue on page thirty six. <laughs> Dress wrapped in gold as a queen should be. Oh, thank Beautiful. You. Thank Beautiful. You. Beautiful. I want to know more about the anti-bullying rally. Okay, great. And the event that's coming up and that Sometimes. I'm so honored to be a part of. Well, thank, thank you. you. And I'm so honored that you're going to be a part. You know, I really don't want to get in all the tea <laughs> because <laughs> I had to flip the script and make it positive. But it's bullying. It's just what it is. Yeah. But I was bullied. And, uh, and I'm not ashamed or afraid to say it today because bullying has really taken a form in a very vast way, which I really believe because people really didn't understand what bullying was. I was just about to say that a mm -hmm. lot of people don't recognize when they're being bullied. And it comes up subtly, too. Yeah. It, it, it's like the creepy crawler. Before you know it, you're looking at something like, what is this? This is a little farming. It's not comfortable. It's a strange type feeling. And this is what was literally happening to me. So this is what I did. I didn't talk about it. I observed it. Mm. Every time I hear the conversation, look, that was directed towards me, wasn't time for me to rebuttal because I was picking up different tones mm -hmm. in their talk towards me that was a little different than the tone that they were maybe uh, directing towards me while I might have been working because it wasn't through a former employment. I can say that, but I can't tell the employment or who those people were. And, and, and while you're on that, I really want to share this piece because this is so important. With bullying, please understand, you can be famous you can have all the notoriety in this world, but don't kid yourself because who people do project to be out to us in the world, all over the nations, that they are not capable of bullying people. Mm. The capability is there. But what I have discovered too in bringing about the awareness of bullying, which I did in the United States court here in Las Vegas with no attorney, and I won my case. Come on now. I had all my evidence. Because I'm a former director of HR for a major corporation who then had me transferred to Las Vegas to the largest home health care agency. And I had over five to 600 employees that I was responsible for their human rights and their civil rights. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. I had to regulate laws, code of ethics sit on boards, mm -hmm. make sure the audits were well so these companies could stay open. Now, what's sad about bullying today, and I have to make it known, here in Las Vegas, if you was found bullying, you got a business, you're going to lose your businesses now because okay. they don't like none of that in here. So if we take it now that down to this courthouse, it don't even matter if there are laws in place, which we do need laws in place. Because every bullying episode is different. May have a similar look to somebody else that previously been bullied, but without those laws, you cannot fight air in court is one of the things I discovered when I took my case. Because there was no laws to fight in court what had happened to me. So this is what I did. Now, you called it a rally, a campaign. It is the anti-bullying because there's a significance of how that platform opened up for me. 
I was being bullied behind the scenes, right? But trying to come out to the world to be this queen. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. See that? I had an ill factor going on. Why I got to go out and all of this here? Yeah. When everybody else is being applauded and I'm clapping for everybody else, but what I'm dealing with, nobody's clapping for me but look, but my God. Mm -hmm. You see that? It was so you much. See the look on my face yes. because I'm resonating with your story. Yes. yes. I, I I'm going through something like that it's right okay. now. You can call me. I've I've already left my job. Okay. But you can oh, call me. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Because and I'm gonna share I'm this. I'm so like appalled yes. because well, I'm saying I'm being bullied in the workplace. People are looking at me like in the workplace. Like, that but you want to know why? Because we grown men and women now. Yeah. See, back in the day, I'm going to be real with y'all. I came from Camden, New Jersey. And if you know about anything about Camden, New Jersey, we are the Camden Knights. And we're still the Camden Knights. Because we knew how to go buck wild on your ass. I love but you. being a grown woman with integrity... I can't come out ninja all the time. That's true. I can't come That's out true. with that fight. Mm -hmm. And I can't come out to the world knowing that I'm looking right at my enemies. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. I got to still <laughs> smile through that. Yes. And, and there have been many times That's I've so received tough. awards. Yes, I But did. they didn't expect you to walk in the room. And that they would call your name for that humanitarian honor or so on and so yeah. forth. Because the Anti-Bullying Award Show is a humanitarian, Dr. Martin Luther King-inspired, award-winning show. Love it. He's received humanitarian awards, Love congressional it. honors, congressional Love awards, it. the Black Caucus Awards and recognition. I, like my sister here, my queen sister here, my baby. My baby was birthed out of me because I had to suffer through the pain of the hard place that I had to go through. Come on now. I got chills. To help somebody else. I got chills. They're giving me chills, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that's all right. That's what we're supposed to do because it's real. <laughs> yes. And listen, they put a hit on my life to kill me. So when I found it out, yup, I went buck wild ninja. I flew all the way to the East Coast and showed my evidence to my attorneys. They couldn't advise me here in Las Vegas because they're not licensed in Vegas. Yeah. But they told me where to go. Yeah. To get help. But I'm still taking notes. So when other people are going through that, you ain't got that runaround no more. See, you got the anti-bullying queen herself. That's the force as that Esther wrote about in her magazine against bullying. I'm that girl. I'm not afraid anymore because it didn't yeah. kill me. Yeah. It only made me stronger to yes. come out here to a world to let you know. You ain't got to let that thing take you out. You take it out. That's what we do. TKO the bullying. That's who we are. TKO. That's TKO. what we're screaming. TKO the bullying. And I come from a boxing fighting family. My brother is a Hall of Fame boxing champion. And his hands are bonded as lethal weapons. Now, what do you think about <laughs> their sister? See, when my daddy took them boys out there in the yard, he took me too. My mama said, look, why are you taking them boys out there in that yard? I don't want her running home either. That's Take her right. too. That's right. I'm not afraid to fight. That's right. But I want to fight the right fight now. Yes. I want us to reason together in love. Yes. Why is it that you don't like this person? You don't even know the person. Mm -hmm. Why is it you don't like the color of their hair and you don't know why they dyed it that color? We have to allow people in this world today, let them expression. Esther, I tell you, I love my sister over here because she has a way of talking about the expression. Today, I feel like a butterfly. You know what I'm she, she's, she's doing it so humbly and exactly. authentically. Yes. You know, I love exactly. it. Exactly. But be who you are. Yes. But the key is when you really discover who you are, don't let nobody tell you anything different. That's what they can't when you discover who you and, are. See, you, and they can't. That, yes, you can say it's that. It's grounded within you. Exactly. And also, lots of times when we go through these experiences, as we talk about um, the hardships, but the hardships are where we, we're being refined. Yes. yes. And when you are being refined, then you can stand up, like Carrie says, and do what <laughs> she's doing. Yes. And say, this is who I am. But also, when you stand, make that stand, you're saying, to others you can too but this is what yes. you this is who you become and it's not always that I'm the victim but I'm the victor yes come that on victory. now I love Absolutely. that you become the victim I love thing. that and anything that you yes. go through just know that 
sometimes, and this is just me, sometimes we separate God and Satan, and, but no, God gives us these things to go through. Absolutely. In order to hone us. Yes. Because we, I mean, we've been through a lot, <laughs> right? Absolutely. But, a lot. but I'm still smiling, I'm y'all. still smiling. <laughs> Even for me to get here, to get yes. to Vegas, I've, but I've got here. When, I la- when my plane landed last night, I said, I've got here. And if you know what I had to do to get here... But the main thing is, you know, they talk about having a vision and having a purpose. And if you've got that vision, even if you walk on shards of glass, you don't feel the glass because you've got the vision and the purpose. And when you're aiming for that, that is it. You know, what's God's purpose in your life? Where are you going? If you don't have a vision or purpose, you're going to feel those rocks that you're Absolutely. walking on. Because you're always going to remain at a lower level. Exactly. And, and that's, that's why they really want you. And they this, want you to stay there. And this is what elevates and you us. Elevate. Yeah, Absolutely. And that's why, you know, what, what Carrie's doing, the Anti-Bullying Awards, she's raising an awareness. She's saying, this is where I've come from. This is who I was, but it's not who I am now. Exactly. Because I've grown and I'm learning. And that's another part of this. Learning. Yes. Learning. Watching what's around you. Oh, she's got to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it's just about showing up, showing up, no matter what, just showing up and showing out. Yes. Because we can sit here and look all pretty and everything, but Come you know what, where we've been? Um, yeah, sometimes you don't know where we've been. Yes. And I really got a rebuttal because she really made a good point. That showing up, I might not have a good day today. Yes. But when I show up, I want to show up in the spirit of excellence. Yes. Absolutely. In spite of what I've been through, I'm here, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Your day is what you make it. <laughs> Absolutely. Your day is what you make it. Your time is what you make it. Your life is what you make it. Not everybody else. Exactly. So let me just kind of rebuttal about the show just a little yes. bit. Uh, we're going to have social media shows. It's going to be on our VIP red carpet. I'm excited because Sonia is going to be one of our hosts. <laughs> and along with her counterpart and producer, which is Maria Pereza, whom I love dearly. She's one of my queen sisters, too, and one of my dear friends. And then we have Esther Austin Global. She's going to be with us Sunday, and she's going to set the center stage for us as we just make our way through the show on Sunday. But the show, again, was to let everybody know You have a story, you have a journey, you have a life, and even right now, and I can't tell all the tea, but the Anti-Bullying Award Show is taking everybody places, and it is now going to be touring all over the nation. People are asking for the Anti-Bullying Award Show to be in different city, states, and countries. Wonderful. Wonderful. (laughs) I'm just like, but guess what? I don't always have to be the host. But we're going live Sunday, right? Exactly. But check this out. It's a show that gives awards to positive people. Yes. It doesn't matter if you've been bullied or you're bullies. I'm here to help the bullies too. That's what we're all about. We don't want to leave anybody out because we want to understand your story. And then when we understand everybody else's story, then we can understand Understand even more. Exactly. Other and why we do what we do because we want to elevate. Yes, we ma'am. want to come up a little higher. Yes, ma'am. And we are. Yeah. We are. That was the, the whole And I got thing. some surprises, too. Our tickets are $40. If you come down and you just want to say hello to us, uh, we're going to be at um, Griffin Studios here in Las Vegas. I really don't have the address on me. But you can go onto my Facebook. You can see the flyer is out there. Um, it's September the 24th. The doors open at 5.30. Um, I believe our red carpet may start maybe about 5 o'clock. It's just doing some highlights there. Um, but we're looking to have a wonderful time. We're going to have some vittles. <laughs> some food. <laughs> I love it. I, you know, I just love being me because I'm a comedian too. Sometimes I tell people, you got to loosen your tie, baby, because I got to make you smile. You know, everything ain't all bad. <laughs> But we're going to have some treats. But we also make awards presentations Mm -hmm. to these wonderful people. And it doesn't matter what profession you're in. Because I have learned if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for for anything. anything. But we're taking a stand to let everybody know we are here. My phone number is 702-418-2532. If you are finding you're having this issue of bullying, you don't know what it looks like, you can't identify with it, I do what I call a rap sheet. I listen to you. I listen. Because everything is not bullying. 
It's just somebody that's just picking on you. But bullying has signs of different things that unfortunately have caused people to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing we want to avoid. So you can also inbox me and I'm also on Instagram. I'm Carrie Brown on Instagram, 785. All right. Well, thank you, Queens, both thank for having, oh, God. <laughs> having this conversation with me. I was wow because I really resonated with this. I want to thank you folks for tuning in, world. And you can catch us all week. We're here. The times will be disclosed at a later time because I'm not sure what time we're airing, but at 6. Okay. We'll be airing at 6 p.m. all week. You can catch us there on Let's Talk World. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>